The next item is a public meeting item number four, an application for a certificate of appropriateness at 380 Lafayette Street, also known as 376 to 380 Lafayette Street, an individual landmark and also in the NoHo Historic District, docket number 15-7515, block 531, lot 7504 in Manhattan a Romanesque revival st style store and loft building designed by Henry J. Hardenberg and built in 1888. And the application is to replace doors. Thanks. Any questions? Uh, any questions? Uh, yes, uh, Diana? So the door in framement, what's the material on the two, the doors? The door in framement, uh, is it? It's, uh, the materials? Yeah. Uh, this part of the frame is actually wood. This is stone. And the main door structure is wood with a uh, wrought iron security gate within. And the existing transom gate is wrought iron. What's the type of wood, though? You have these contrasting colors. Is it painted? Well, it's or all going to be painted. Okay. Uh, and our goal is to, and I'm sorry I forgot to mention this, our goal is to paint and match the color of the existing cast iron mm -hmm. uh, mountain panels and pilasters to tie everything together. Mm -hmm. And we'll do computerized color matching when we get to that phase, but this is as close as we can get with the engine more book right now. Michael? It, it's unusual to see the water table, the stone water table, make that return right. into the opening. What's the purpose of that? Uh, it's, it's twofold. One is uh, visually. We felt that it was a good idea to tie this new um, element in 
and, and really make a transition point kind of between the layers of the building. And secondly, is just for practical purposes, there's a lot of traffic in this building. There's multiple offices, a lot of deliveries, and for wear and tear, we felt the scum would be better at a lower level than a paint from a hobby. I think it's a little bit Thank distracting, you. though. Do you yeah. feel that? Patching stone is going to be more difficult. Than yeah. Patching Especially at Lime Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why don't you ram it with the, uh, the parts. hand truck or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you could like you just make that wood and, and then, uh, right? Good. I think, you know, we're, we actually were looking forward to your feedback mm -hmm. on this design. Mm -hmm. And uh, the community board gave us some interesting feedback. Mainly, they wanted to see a better rendering. Yeah, right. right, that rendering is um, quite nice. Yes. Thank you. I know it's not in our package, but I think yeah, we brought it here. No, it is in our project. Oh, is it? Okay, it's maybe it's right at the back. Okay, why did I? I think, I think um, Kara has oh, yes, it. Oh, yes, I see it. Yeah. I would recommend that we try to get it. Oh, yes, I see it. I would recommend that we try and you know, do the frame over the entire stretch and not have this return at the end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, are there speakers on this item? Yes. Barbara Zay of the Historic Districts Council. HDC applauds this sensitive and thoughtful door replacement. The materials employed, including decorative ironwork and wood, are an enhancement to this building. Stylistically, the materials and design are compatible with the heaviness and monumentality inherent in Romanesque revival style architecture. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more speakers? My community board supports this application. Commissioner? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, my project manager raised one more point I forgot to mention. Yes. Uh, from my firm. Uh, he alluded to the fact that uh, if you could have some kind of marginal snow base, it would protect the uh, uh, wood from water infiltration. And I do agree with your comment that it is a little distracting. Yeah. Um, so I'd just like to put that out there. There was a third reason we did that. I just Yes, if I might, one of the things that you can do, that certainly with mahogany, is treat the grain end, the, the yeah. bottom grain end, with epoxy. Just soak it and epoxy. So it doesn't wet the water. Is a good idea. Okay. Okay. That's good. Any other questions for the applicant? All right, we can close the hearing. All in favor? Okay. okay. Any concerns about this case? It is beautiful. It's better than, clearly, a lot better than what they have right now. Yes. Okay. Um, Marjorie, you would like to read that? In the matter of a certificate of appropriateness for 380 Lafayette Street, uh, 376 to 380 Lafayette Street building, an individual landmark, also in the NoHo Historic District, the application is to replace doors. I recommend approval, finding that replacement of the existing paired doors and transom will not eliminate any significant historic fabric, that the design and materials of the proposed painted wood, glass, and metalwork work of the door are in keeping with the age, type, and style of the building, that the details and finish of the metalwork at the transom door and sidewalk are harmonious with the existing historic metalwork in the arched transom above, that the proposed security camera and intercom will be installed at existing junction boxes at the entrance, that the proposed design of the light fixture will recall details found in the historic metalwork and will not detract from the historic features of the building, and that reusing the existing metal conduit will prevent further damage to the historic brick masonry and will be painted to blend into the surrounding brick masonry, um, and provided that the applicant changes the limestone plinth to mahogany to continue the enframing around the door all the way down to the ground. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And this application has been passed. 